Hey guys, what's up? This is Ron here and in this KOF All-Star video, we are going to take a deep look at our Dead or Alive collab characters. So far in this banner one, they have released Kasumi, Nutengo and Mary Rose. So we are going to take a good look at the skills of these characters. We are going to talk about the cores. We are going to talk about the dots of these characters and also other abilities along with the skill previews. And besides, I am also going to tell you that where you should use these characters and where these characters will be more useful. And finally, I am going to tell you that which characters you should go after or which characters you should summon. So guys make sure you watch this video till the end to get all of these detailed informations and please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more updated coverage videos like this. So before we start to our topic just let me uh, bring something to your attention that is Netmarvel is actually giving a huge gift to you guys everyone who is joining a guild or who is already in a guild and that is 1000 rubies and that is huge my friends that is just for only using a guild so if you guys uh, may some of you guys may not be in a guild so if you guys are not already in a guild make sure that you just uh, join the guild and I have detailed videos in my channel that how to join a guild and how to find a guild. And if you guys have any problem regarding join a guild, please just let me know in the comments and I'll try to help you because I have already helped a bunch of my subscribers to join in many guilds and I would really love to help you too. So without much further ado, let's get into our topic that is our character analysis and here is uh, our characters right here, Kasumi, that is the ninja Kasumi and the swimsuit version of New Tango and Mary Rose right there. So first uh, let's just check out our special signature Kasumi and the big thing about this character that separates her from others is she is a, an SS unit that means she is a special signature character and she will get all the benefits whatever the special signature characters are getting whenever you place her in a, an SS team for, for, uh, for example if you place her under uh, Kyo's leadership uh, Kyo's leadership will bump her and so on and so on so let's just go ahead and check out her skills and uh, I'm not going to just read them in detail because you can do it by yourself. I'm just going to uh, point out a couple of things that in her second skill, uh, she is going to get hyper armor, which is uh, at once super armor and damage immunity. Damage immunity means she will not get any damage at all, not from dots, not from skills or hits or whatever. And that will last for three seconds and there is a 60% chance to remove target super armor or hyper armor. I mean if your character is having a super armor or hyper armor and this character hits you then your super armor and hyper armor is gone. So and that is limited when the character is airborne. So you have to keep in mind that is you have to you keep your character airborne and on the next skill we have that uh, dealing additional damage equal to 220% of attack all enemies uh, and uh, increase target damage received by 26%. So there is a uh, skill here that is going to increase targets damage received which is freaking awesome. We usually see these type of things in cores but here we have it in the skill very um, impressive very impressive. And now we can see the other skills here. Now let's just go and check her course right now. 
and she has a very standard core from the beginning but as we move further you will see the unique things she have first of all she has the ideal 30 percent power gain which all ideal s and bios units are having mostly what with one sole exception of bs0 of course and that's a different case and she has an increased critical rate of 2.4 percent attack by 105 percent and 1005 percent and this is an exclusive core right here which is continuous damage in hands and this is something new in this volume uh, in this uh, data alive uh, collab characters that is continuous damage in hands which is going to increase certain dot damage attack damage by 15 percent and it will continuously increase and in this case of kasumi she has shock in her core and shock is a very effective dot especially and in different immortals and versus of course the lunatic guild definitely shock is going to be very useful then there is skill enhanced strike there's penetration increase and female ninja of fate now this is a very important core let me just read it to you the character is becoming immune to darkness it will deal shock damage equal to 80 percent of attack to target upon landing an attack note this point guys first immune to darkness second dealing more shock damage guess where it is going guild raid nightmare geese guild raid lunatic mode hell yeah hell yeah she will be immune to the darkness by geese and for you who are still struggling in lunatic mood against nightmare geese she can be a freaking ideal character and only one character shares this ability that is bs ignis who is immune to darkness and it is not temporary or it has no cooldown it is just all immunity to darkness I mean all the time you stay immune to darkness darkness will never ever affect you and not only bosses but any opponents in pvp or pve whatever darkness will simply not work on this character freaking amazing core right here guys freaking amazing core and as the final core we are going to have receipt strike active skill cooldown upon landing psi x and increase target damage received by 30 percent for five seconds with a cooldown of 12 seconds and it's going to gain gain 10 percent power when combo counter is 10 percent or higher and dead or alive exclusive core there is 70 percent chance to increase attack by 30 percent for five seconds upon landing active skills so this uh, last one is basically common to all dead or alive characters so you will you'll be able to see this uh, special core in all of these characters so you have seen the skills and now you know what what are the capability of this character already now just let me show you some quick skill preview of her and that will be fun guys and i especially like her first active skill which is like look at this just you know goes through the character i'm going to do it once again wow i love it man i love it and this is a second active skill which throws the character to the air but somehow brings it down i wish it was just thrown to the character in the air that would be better and the third skill this is one this is a kind of a grab skill i see it's a grab skill of course and grab skill has certain disadvantage in, against immortals uh, but yeah grab can be useful as well and the default finisher that is this one pretty nice pretty nice and pretty long as well not not really a short one and this will be the 3pg or the ultimate finisher and look how long this thing he it is this is long detailed and as she is an ss unit definitely this finisher will be able to interrupt the darkness thing or whatever thing that nightmare geese keeps doing she will be able to interrupt so this is a definitely great character for lunatic
guild mood now just let me tell you that uh, where this character will be useful and this character will be useful especially first that things that comes to my mind is that lunatic mood uh, guild raid of nightmare geese where uh, nightmare geese is vulnerable to shock and this girl right here is immune to darkness so she is an ideal character she will be the ideal character for uh, lunatic mood a guild raid against nightmare geese beside ignis uh, and uh, i believe that both both of these character bs ignis and kasumi ss kasumi both will be equally strong because kasumi is an ss unit which gives her an extra edge and the one problematic thing or negative thing about this character is she is an ss unit guys she is not a collab character she is a special signature character and if you want to level her up so you need to have her character memories so this is the only shortcoming guys otherwise she is a freaking future proof character and definitely you should go for her i mean she is gorgeous and useful as hell so let's just go to our second character that is dead or alive six angel of paradise new tango and it is actually the swimsuit version of new tango and we will be getting the other version of new tango in the second banner which will be coming uh, within seven days or so and uh, I, I guess you guys understand already that i have told you already in my previous videos that the collabs are released in this way that in in the first week they will release one banner there will be some characters right there and on the second week they will release another banner with characters and separate cards so there will be four banners in total two character banners and two card banners so in this uh, video basically we are sticking with the characters and we'll make a separate video on the cards guys so let's check out her skills right now so her first skill is pretty much impressive look at the details she's going to inflict damage she's going to get super armor for four seconds and she's going to apply blackout for six seconds to the target and that will de uh, deal darkness damage equal to 30%. So a lot of things going on, on in these skills. And basically if you're going to fight with this character, start with this skill and it will be really, really amazing. And on the second skill, we have this uh, inflict damage equal to 733% of attack used to increase attack by 30% for 7 seconds and 60% chance to remove target super armor and hyper armor. What we have already seen in Kasumi that these things are already present in her uh, skill as well. She can remove your characters or opponents, hyper armor, super armor, whatever. And she can actually ignore these things. So her next uh, skills are all about damages and uh, there is a PvP exclusive that is that will remove 10% power from target and which is good for PvP uh, but that is not for PvE. But one good thing is we are getting a darkness dot in her skill which is going to be freaking useful against the characters who are weak against darkness. And now just let's just, let's just go and check out her course. And as you can see in the skills uh, she has a grab, 12% uh, grab skill, attack damage increase, which is kind of uh, uh, interesting because grabs uh, kind of doesn't work in immortals or those kind of things. But still, grab is useful in many cases. We know Chrysalid is full of grab, but you know, he does wonders. He does wonders. So don't get intimidated about grab. Grab is going to be something really useful. And she has a critical rate increase of 2.4%, attack 1,050%, and look at this uh, exclusive troll once again, continuous damage enhanced. And in this case, this is darkness. So this character has darkness as Kasumi had shock in her core, but Kasumi didn't have shock in her active skill, but this character actually have darkness in both her active skill and core which makes her freaking op darkness damage dealing character and that's freaking awesome guys that's freaking awesome and this is the thing that uh, 
and this is kind of a, a continuous damage enhance i mean this is kind of thing that will keep enhancing the damage dealing some sort of thing like and of course she has a power gain too but she has a 10% uh, less power gain than kasumi and other characters like she has 20% power charge rate but don't worry guys there are great characters already in the market without power gain for example bs0 zero. zero power zero i mean no pun intended zero power in his core but freaking amazing character you know freaking amazing character and penetration increased by 256 percent and then again sightseeing pleasure seeker which is going to increase active skill damage by 30 percent for seven second and beauty and survived 1018 years who is going to active skill damage delta target by darkness by 70 percent I mean, this is freaking amazing. This is going to increase active skill damage dealt to target, which is affected by darkness. And remember, she has darkness in her skill and core. So her opponent will be like 95% of time her opponent will be affected by darkness. And guess what? There is a 70% extra damage dealing core right here amazing darkness damage dealing character and i would call her the queen of darkness let me call her the quick term queen of darkness and of course the dead or alive uh, uh, exclusive code that is 70 percent in uh, chance to increase attack by 30 percent upon landing active skill decrease damage receive attack type and attack defense type balance type and one thing you see that they are actually talking about that Decrease damage received from an attack type, defense type, or balance type enemy by 30% for 5 seconds when attacked. I mean, it looks simple, but they have specially mentioned attack type, defense type, or balance type. I mean, why did they, did they do this? They should have simply said that decrease damage received from enemy by 30%. That would be an ideal sentence. Why did they mention these different types right here? I mean, is this a hint? Uh, I don't know, guys. Maybe they are planning to bring something new, which will be more than attack, defense, or balance type. Maybe some, some other type will come in future. I don't know. But that's just my personal speculation, guys. Don't get carried away. Just my thoughts. Maybe it will come. Maybe it will not so pretty solid core right here guys she's freaking insane with her course and let's just go to her skills and quickly have a look at her skills and this is the first one that will deal darkness and look at this and this skill kind of resembles that of gainies i hope you can see the similarity so the second skill here wow I love it. I really love it. Look at this. So we go to the third skill right here. Wow, 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 wow. A lot of things going on right here, guys. I know what I'm going to point out. Hope you're getting it. Freaking amazing. I'm going to watch it once again. Oh, yeah. Nice, nice. Cool, cool. So, uh, anyways the core finisher right here ice cream in her hand but she is doing oh my god her core finisher is almost as long as many characters 3 pg look at this it is long long almost long very long amazing and look at her final finisher and let's see let's see look at these guys look at how long this freaking thing is with the final pose out there but look at this once again how long it is oh my goodness and this is going to be helpful against immortals freaking amazing there are immortal bosses who are weak against darkness and she will be freaking useful in those type of matches now now let me just tell you that uh, what is her usability 
and first thing that comes in my mind that that is expert mood rugal guilt and in expert mood rugal is a kind of weak against uh, darkness and here you can actually use this character and get a ton of damage i believe and she's a balance type character purple balance type character and as a balance type character she will have a lot of survivability and she has a you know decrease damage receive as well so i believe she will be a good asset against expert mood guild uh, rugal also she will be amazing against some immortal bosses who has darkness as weakness she will be great right there so let's just uh, go to our third character here who is dead or alive six angel of paradise mary rose right here and she has an amazing sleek figure right here but let's just quickly check out the skills so from the first skill she is getting uh, hyper armor and super armor and uh, sorry guys oh pardon me i i just uh, pressed something else anyways from the first skill she is getting super armor hyper ar hyper armor that is both super armor and, and damage immunity for 3 seconds just the same as the other two characters and it can be used while being attacked only while standing so you have to keep in mind and on the second skill it is going to inflict, inflict damage equal to 678 percent of attack it will increase the attack by 40 percent of defense when using a skill and it will apply cold spell for six seconds to target upon a successful, successful attack and it will also increase attack speed by 10 percent and movement speed by 10 percent wow so she is going to be freaking fast whenever you apply the skill and of course she is going to be delivering and applying one of the great dots in the game that is chill and chill is freaking useful against immortal dungeon guys and chill is really really amazing and on her third skill that she is going to inflict damage equal to 733 percent of attack deal she is going to deal chill damage equal to 2.5 times of remaining chill damage and remove chill damage effect so basically this third skill is going to apply chill damage once again and remove chill damage as a dot explosion so this character has both chill and dot explosion in her skills freaking amazing and ideal for you know immortal bosses where dot explosions really matters a lot a lot and she has a lot of chill in her skills and actually two of her skills are applying chill so she can be a freaking amazing character if there is a boss anywhere in future or anytime where the boss is weak against chill damage she will be freaking op my friends she'll be freaking op and as net marvel have already announced that they are working a lot of on a lot of characters and bosses and by august uh, by august of this year a lot of new bosses will come so i mean she can be a real trump card right then so let's just go to check her core effects right now and to my surprise once again the first score is not of course the you know usual power gain pg core instead it is going to enhance the strike skill by 12 percent then she has penetration by 192 per 192 defense by 1900 and again this uh, exclusive core hair continuous damage enhanced which is chill in he in this case previously we had shock in kasumi and we had darkness in new tengu and we are having now chill in uh, mary rose and in her core so mary rose has two skill active uh, chill uh, chill damaging active skills and she also has chill in her core i mean she's full of chill guys she's 
she's just full of chill amazing amazing core and this is also going to increase uh, continuously and continuously the damage will enhance and then again she has 20 percent power charge uh, rate just like new tengu but i believe that this 20 percent will do a good job for him for her, her i'm sorry an attack increased by 840 percent and then we have small throne rose who is going to the attacker is frozen for three seconds after five seconds when attacked i mean she's going to apply freeze as well wow this is amazing i mean so much effect is going on on going on here she's applying chill she's applying dot explosion she's applying freeze i mean hey holy hell guys amazing character right here very interesting kit very interesting core and finally there is the completing secret mission that is going to increase defense by 10% for 5 seconds upon landing attack and which is going to stack up to 5 and this stacking up thing is quite new in this character we haven't this stack we haven't seen stack up thing in any of the core of any characters whether bs or ss or anything this stack up thing is always in always available in immortal bosses where they were able to stack you know things but she is going to actually stack up this uh, increased defense by 10 percent up to five times that means 50 percent increased defense whoo that's amazing right and she, remember she's a balanced type character so she has a lot of survivability i mean it will be definitely hard to kill her and also she'll be getting 20 percent power when combo counts is 10 or higher see guys i have said that she has 20 percent pg in her core but she's gay getting 20 percent extra pg when her combo is 10 or more and with a cooldown of only 10 seconds that means she is kind of getting 40 percent pg gain wow <laughs> that is freaking amazing and also this exclusive dead or alive core uh, that is going to 70 uh, percent chance to increase attack by 30 percent for five seconds upon active uh, landing active skills decrease damage received from attack type defense type and balance type enemies so once again they are mentioning the type so these things i should keep in my mind and you should guys think about it too because they are mentioning attack defense and uh, you know balance type characters why they should mention that's the question so let's check out her skills right now and the first skill right here wow look at this amazing detail skill lot of hits lot of hits lot of critical hits right here and the second skill right here wow 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 long one i hope she can cancel her skills because uh, uh, her skills are kind of uh, long like chrysalis and if she can cancel these ones really quick that would be freaking amazing and this is the last one which uh, throws the enemy to the air so you can execute further combos and get that extra 20 percent pg gain and if you check her second skill once again that see there are a lot of hits and in each of every skill so combos getting more than 10 combos will be very easy so I'm going to check the first finisher right here that is the default finisher and even it is default is long enough and pretty cool and here is the 3 pg and the final finisher right here Ooh, cool ah yeah amazing one like i like that kick i like that kick and it's also a long one as well so freaking damn useful and overall a very solid character and she's a defense type character here so she, she will be a tanky character and she will be a lot of defense increase as we have seen in her core so be sure that though she looks slim it will be hard to kill her so that is basically the detailed skill breakdown and core uh, details about these characters and as you have known that uh, all of these characters are more or less strong and in in their own areas 
but if you ask me about which character you should go after then there comes a couple of questions because it depends on how much rubies you have what is your inventory and what is your end goal for example if you are someone who is struggling against lunatic raid and lunatic guild uh, against nightmare geese then definitely Kasumi should be your first pick without any hesitation and but one thing about Kasumi is she's an SS character and you need SS memories to upgrade her you cannot do her five star in-house by using dimensional exchanges that you can do with these other two characters because these other two characters are purely collab characters but if you are after lunatic mood guild keys and if you don't have bs ignis then this character right here kasumi can be your trump card but if you already have you know bs ignis already you know leveled up at three star at least with all of his tones then i don't think you need this character anymore because they are basically more or less the same immunity to darkness doing shock damages etc etc and if you are someone who is an intermediate or new player then definitely i would suggest these two characters because these two characters are collab characters and you will just need just a few rubies uh, to summon them and uh, you can just level them up easily and very quickly using dimensional invitation and they have great kits they have great abilities and i hope just their their survivability will also be great as well so none of these characters you can go wrong with it we have as we have checked their kits they may seem look like lollies but they are freaking amazing kit in terms of kids and in terms of th their battle abilities so i hope you guys uh, have understood the details about uh, the, these characters and their abilities and now you know that which character you should go after and this hope this video will help you to take your decisions i hope you guys enjoyed this video and in the next video we'll be talking more about cards and hope you guys will check them out because there will be some exclusive set and option cards that we need to deal uh, deal with and i haven't added this information in this video because this video is already getting a bit long so hope to see you guys in this video at uh, the next video till then stay awesome stay safe peace out guys